Yo guys, welcome back to the final whistle. Today's the big one. It's the preview. It is FA Cup preview for Manchester United versus Manchester City. Oh, the final boys. Mm. Listen, I'm not too confident. Yeah, I don't even know why. I'm not. I'm not even too confident. Deep breath, bro. bro. (laughs) I mean, we're in the final. We're in the final. That's that's all that matters. I mean, how we got here, I don't know. I mean, I I know, but it's really a day out for Man United at at the moment. The way I'm seeing it, it's a day out like Brighton. Um, not Brighton. It was um, who did we play? Coventry. When Coventry played us in the in the semi final, it was a day out for them. It's a day out for us um, at Wembley. I don't. I don't think. We're going to do anything. But let's talk about the preview. I'm going to go to my fellow Man United fan, Raf. Talk to me. How are you feeling for this game? And do you think that we can actually get a result out of this game? Obviously, the odds are not in our favour. <laughs> That's just like, yeah. you know, if you, if you don't know that, like, yeah, the odds are not in our favour. However, football is beautiful like that. Mm. And anything can happen. That is true. And I'm a Man United supporter. So that day, I am going to believe that Man United can win it. Because we can do it. 100%. Now, whether we will do it, we ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to happen. But you know what, though? I mean, I look at the players that could be back for that game. Mm-hmm. And that gives me a little bit of, you know, optimism. That and who are they? Martinez yep. could be back for that game. Yeah. Luke Shaw, Bruno, Mount, Rashford. Yeah. You know, arguably, or maybe... Our whole front, our whole eleven, our whole starting eleven could be back for that. Yeah, maybe not Varane. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but maybe he could be as well because the manager hasn't ruled him out for the rest of the season. Maguire, mm. you know, yeah. there's so there's players that could be back. Yeah, and I know that when we have a full squad, we are a different Man United side. So you never know, but I'm not gonna be too optimistic because I was happy, and then within 12 seconds last year. I was yeah. pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's yeah. me. That's how I feel, man. Yeah. We'll see what happens, but it's possible. I hear it. Um, you know what? I think I think you guys can actually do it. The reason why I think you guys can do it is because, again, you said you'll have players back, but not only that, because Ten Hag will have the um you have the drive to finish the season on a high. Mm. You know, in a season where you may or may not it's been it's been in question. You may or may not finish in top four, then you may or may not finish in Europe. I feel like there's been a lot of uncertainty around all of that sort of stuff. Where's the future of Man United going? And I feel like one thing Ten Hag can do to sort of ease over those cracks, especially in the transition that you guys are going to have in the summer or should mm. have in the summer, is bring a trophy home. Yeah. And when it comes to City, as much as you know we ban now that City can wipe the floor with you guys, or whatever, um, full mercy for lovely, you can embarrass you for your wife and kids. I feel like whenever it comes to United and City, I mean, think about that game um, where Pogba scored the brace. Uh, I think you guys beat them 3-1. 3-2. 3-2 at the Etihad. Mourinho, yeah. No one put you guys as winners for that game as well. I feel like there's sometimes United, whenever it's City, you guys can switch it on. Yeah, because I remember it was that time, they were actually, if they beat us, they would have won the league. Yeah. yeah that exactly. was that was what was at stake and then yeah. we managed to do it. Yeah. So I feel like on, on the big stages, individual games, United can turn up. It's just... Yeah, it depends on what United turns up personally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hear what you're saying, but as much as you said they can turn up, it could easily go the other way. And like how United was, uh, how City was beating United, was it six 0 in the first half, and you, you lot came back to win, uh, draw, sorry, draw six three. Yeah, you know, so the result could easily go that way as it did last season. Yeah. You know, in the last two years, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of embarrassing results from Manchester United. Yeah. And unfortunately, you really hope that that's not the case on the FA Cup final. Yeah, yeah. because, that, because is... that will be just so embarrassing, you at know. At Wembley. We don't get... At Wembley, we do play better. Mm. At Wembley, we mm-hmm. do play better. We do. I think I think you guys play... Ob- actually, to be fair, yeah. I was obviously, say... we lost last season, but it was it was an early goal. And then we weren't, it's not like we were. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. You just remember yeah, in the I'm 12 like, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. it was P. Yeah, well, it wasn't Don't great, was it? Calm, calm, calm. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't yeah. pretty, yeah. but. We don't. We're not going to get smoked. I, I, I do get what you're saying, but it's look at who the opponent is and look at the recent form. I understand. Mm. You know, you're saying a lot of players are coming back from injury, mm. but United's recent form is just really bad. Yeah. Like you, you, that four nil. When I was watching that four nil to Crystal Palace, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, man. Well, I did. Like mm. you know, and that could easily be the result if City turn up. And but it's a derby. United. But can, can I say one thing that you guys aren't considering? Season ends on the nineteenth of May. This yeah. final's on the 25th, mm. six days later. Now, whatever the outcome of, is of that final day could either be, you know, good or bad. 
Yeah, United. Right, because, for yeah. example, if if Arsenal manage to pit City to the title, Pep is going to be furious. Mm. We all know this. Mm. And who's next on their hit list to take all their anger up? Hey, listen, it's, it's yeah, going yeah. it, it yeah. to be a long day. Yeah, and yeah. it kind of goes back to the discussion that we had, you know, cause, because what type of season does it mean for City if they fail to win any trophy? Exactly. Yeah. So if they do miss out on the Premier League, you know, what vendetta are they going to have to go against United? But then on the flip side, like how you said, if they do win the Prem, you're going to think, yeah, let's go get a double and smoke these mm. men as well. So, yeah. or it yeah. could be you the never other way. Know. You, you never know. know. You, mentioned, you mentioned earlier that, oh, obviously the players are coming back and that's five-ish first team players, Rashford, Martinez, Varane, if maybe, Luke Shaw, and who's the other mm. one I've again? And Bruno and coming Mount, back. Yeah, and Mount, yeah. but he ain't really been playing Mount. all season. But it's like, do they really make a big difference to our season? Because, remember, they haven't been playing football like that. But we'll see. What I do want to talk about is, you man said it's a derby and sometimes form goes out the window. I don't know how much that's actually true for Manchester United. You know what? Go on. I hear it. I hear it. But at the same time, Think of it this way. So, your entire season, and I'm not, promise you, I'm not grilling you guys, but your entire season has been filled with results that you should have won mm. and you have performed in a lackluster manner against a lot of the smaller teams. Mm. You know, when it comes to teams like Bournemouth, West Ham, Palace, whatever, they've beaten you or whatever. It's not, you haven't been Man United. Mm. But then on the flip side, you've drawn 2 2 to Liverpool. Mm. You pretty much dominated that Arsenal game at Old Trafford where you lost 1 0. And even on the flip um, fixture in September, you guys played quite well. Yeah. I feel like whenever it comes to... You should have had a goal as well. Whenever it comes <laughs> to... Um, please, still get on about it. Still on about that be the last time. <laughs> the last time, bro. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to like these bigger teams, teams that are more like your rivals or in close yeah. vicinity in terms of the size of your club, you start to... Pride kicks in and you mm. play a lot better. So it could be a thing where, you know, there is that sense of pride. We've had a poor season. We've been absolutely embarrassed by other clubs and we haven't been ourselves. This is the final time for us to get, like, some sort of pride back in a sense where at least we can say we beat City in the final. Mm. We ended on a high. Even though our league form has been terrible, we managed to win a trophy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That sort of pride and, I guess you want to say, head start on next season and whatever yeah. you have for pre-season, mm. there will be that in the players and them trying to pick themselves up, especially if yeah. Ten Hag isn't there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, I think you're right. And the whole thing with form, if I just give you the examples, going to the examples that Mids mentioned about Liverpool, the first game that we had against Liverpool was at the Anfield. People are thinking, United are in bad form. They're mm. going to do what they did to us last season. They're going to beat us 5-7. It was 0-0. Mm. Yeah, Kept yeah. a clean sheet against them. Then, second game, FA Cup. One of, um, a chance for Klopp to get a trophy or, you know, to get to, you know, further in the competition and then get a trophy. People are thinking Liverpool are going to get revenge. They're going to beat us. We beat them for free. Mm. And then we face them the Sunday after that. Exactly. And people are thinking they're going to get revenge from the FA Cup final. And then we drew. Mm. So, I mean? form, I, I get I get it. It's not all about, you know, we have to remember form does, have, form is definitely a factor. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Form is a factor. But I think... As Mid says, when it gets to that game, Man United not to show up. Even the Arsenal game that you mentioned, I was expecting Man United to lose 3-4-5-0. Because yeah, yeah. we, we had just lost to Crystal Palace 4-0. But then, yes, we still lost, but it was 1-0. And it was with a really injured side. Mm. So, I think you're right. Like, pride yeah, kicks in and we play better. Pride does kick in, but like, Ten Hag has been here two seasons now. Yeah. About two seasons now. We've played five times um, Man City. We've lost four of them. Mm -hmm. We've only won once and it was a last minute um, goal from Rashford in the Premier League. I think it ended 2-1 at Old Trafford. That was yeah. the only time we beat City. Yeah. Other than that, we've lost four times and one of the times that we lost 6-3. So it's like, but I, I, you say you say form goes out the window, but really and truly, we know City are better than us and we they, more more often than not, they beat us. We, we might get the win, we might get, I'm not saying, I'm not counting us out, but it's yeah. like, more often than not, although that we play better, we still end up losing, regardless of who it is. We still end up losing to, to Arsenal. Yes, we didn't lose to Liverpool this season, which is great. But we those were those were games that we we snatched. Yeah. If you think about it, the Fair Fair Cup, we snatched it. Um that could be made no screamer. If not for the screamer, we've lost. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like 
But that's the point, though. I, you know, I don't think anyone is saying that Man United are going to go to Wembley and um, dominate. And dominate. But I'm saying well. that we have the ability to be resilient mm. under pressure. Mm. We can, when we want to fight, we know how to fight. So we can be resilient and we can also come up with those moments of magic against these big sides. Yeah. And that I, could happen. Yeah, I, I, I kind of do understand where you're coming from in that perspective because what kind of concerns me with United at the moment is the mentality of the players. You know, mm. they're how much do they even care? You know, they know that a lot of change is about to come. Do they even think this manager that they're quote unquote fighting for is going to be there in the next season? You know, mm. those things really matter. But at the same time, it being City makes it a bit different. Because mm. if it was against a Chelsea or a Tottenham or a Newcastle, a, a Newcastle like, you know, yeah. then they're like, cool, whatever. You know, this guy's gone next season. Like, get this baldy out. But, you know, when it's a local, it's a derby and it's yeah. a local rival, yeah, yeah. it matters. Because <laughs> no matter how you feel towards the manager, how you feel towards the owners, your contract, etc. if you understand even a minute part about football in Manchester United, you're going to know you want to win this game. That's, mm. that's my take on it. 100%. Yeah. Like in, in the words of Roy Keane, just, just do your job. <laughs> that's all it is. Just do your job. Yeah, no, nah, and then obviously I want to just round up on that. Who... Who's it worse than? You guys touched on it earlier. Who is the impetus on? Because in me, it's worse than City if they don't win this game, regardless if they win the Premier League or they lose the Premier League. If they don't win this game, it's worse on them because we're not the favourites, one. Mm-hmm. We're touted to lose regardless. And if they lose, one, they would have like messed up their double. And if they don't win the Premier League, they'll be trophyless. Mm-hmm. So the, the impetus is on them to lose. Well, if we lose, yeah, we lost. We've lost so many games this season. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If we win, they're in trouble. If you start with me, um, you know, if you if you lose, if you win, I feel like Ten Hag might be gone anyway, you know, mm. might just my personal mm. opinion. So, like I said, it comes back to the players. If you lose, it is what it is. No one really is cares, like is. you said. But if you win, it is a big upset to City and it's all kind of dependent on what goes on in the league at the same time. So all in all, Man United, you've almost got nothing to lose. You go out there, you, yeah. you, do, you do what you can, you you defend what pride you have left. With that being said, if you do win, it means you go into um, Europa League. Whereas if you if, oh, yeah. if you finish eighth, you get nothing. If you finish seventh, mm. you get conference. Where you know recently people have been saying, "I'd rather finish eighth and get nothing." Yeah, you might. I'm need, in that camp. You know, <laughs> I'm in that camp. If we win, then great Europa League. But if we lose, I'd rather just yeah finish eighth and then start again next season. What are you saying, Mids? You know what? I think the emphasis is actually on United to win. And the reason I say this is because I, I understand United's league position, mm. their form, City are potentially, you know, potentially win the league and then do the double the FA Cup. But I think from a club perspective and definitely from a player's perspective, it's on Man United to show that, look, we can still compete. We can still actually go toe-to-toe with City. Even though we all know City are miles above pretty much everyone, if, if not in the league, in the world, in terms of the quality mm. and how they play, it's down to Man United to... Perform. Man mm. United to show up. It can't be a lackluster performance. It can't be a thing where you guys just sit back and defend and you know hold on and say your prayers. Mm. You need to actually perform. Regardless of the result, I think it's yeah, it's definitely on Man United to show up and perform. Not necessarily to win, but to be a convincing side and actually show that you're worthy of being on this stage in the FA Cup final. Yeah. I feel like for City, I mean if they win the league, yeah, cool. It's the chance to do a double and they will relish that opportunity but again if they don't win the league yes they will want to use, they will want to win the FA Cup if they don't if they actually do finish trophyless no one is going to question City because we all yeah. know what City are like we all know mm. the quality of City yeah. whereas United again it's a chance for you guys to end season on a bit of a high a bit of sweet ending go into Europa League and then think okay cool now let's plan for next season we've beaten the City in the FA Cup Can, and then again it gives you another opportunity to win another trophy the Community Shield mm. um, by the end of the season, season. Yeah. so it's a thing where there's other benefits to it as well. City is you know about that trophy, isn't it? Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, no, I think it's a big chance for for Man United. I think it's a very big chance for Man United. Yes, to end the season on a high, especially mm. going into that transfer window, but also to end the season either as the worst season in the Premier League era, or a bad season. But not the worst. The, the FA Cup, you can't yeah. say it's the worst season ever if we, if we finish, if we win the mm-hmm. FA Cup and you know we get that European League spot. So, you know, it's hard to say because Man United have that pressure because they want to end the season well. But at the same time, it will be a bit embarrassing for City if they get to the final and not beat a weak Man United side yeah. who have had a really, really poor season. True. But you know, 
it's down for both teams to show up. As long as Man United part of a fight, if City win, then I feel like that's all we can ask for from Man United, to be honest. All right, no, quickly okay. before we wrap up, score predictions, literally straight. Score prediction. 3-1, uh, City. <laughs> God. God. 3-2 United. 3 to United. Yeah. 2-0 City. 2-1 United. Got a vat. Got a vat, my team, man. I hear it. I hear it. All right, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Are we crazy? Am I crazy to think Man United might pull an upset on City's parade? Um, also, let us know what you want to see, uh, see in the comments. Um, again, please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Make sure you follow all our socials, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And till the next episode, Raf. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs>